The telecoms market has, of course, not escaped the effects of COVID-19 unscathed, with mobile roaming traffic in particular affected by the reduction in international travel. Juniper Research has forecast a very significant reduction of over 650 million mobile roamers between 2019 and 2020. This is from a peak of 894 million in 2019 down to 243 million in 2020. With this kind of reduction, operators need to have remedial plans. So with this in mind, Scarlett, how can operators best position themselves to cope with the ongoing impact of COVID-19? Well, Tony, operators continue to be faced with issues associated with reduced international travel and the impacts this is having on their roaming revenues. We believe that this revenue is not something that can be recuperated after the pandemic. In our report, we explain the reasons for this squeezing on profit margins and explain how we believe that 5G spectrum auctions will really benefit network operators going forward. We show that it is so important for network operators to continue investment in innovative technologies, including the future of 5G and Volte roaming. You mentioned the impact of uh, 5G roaming there. So how will the emergence of 5G affect the roaming market uh, for operators? Well, there's a lot more data in our report, but 5G roaming agreements will lead to a range of benefits for consumers, including high speed and low latency connectivity. At present, the majority of 5G services are based on non-standalone networks, which use the 4G LTE infrastructure to deliver these 5G services. In order for 5G roaming to really take off, 5G standalone networks will need to be implemented, although this often involves a lot of investment from network operators. And we detail the challenges of this in our report. There's also the issue of there needing to be a wider deployment of 5G enabled phones, as this needs to happen before the operators will make the required investments. Uh, in our report, we also look at the disparities across the globe, as whilst network operators in regions such as North America and West Europe are already making headway with 5G standalone networks and 5G roaming agreements, the same cannot be said globally and there will be disparities based on geographical regions. So what really needs to happen for 5G to truly emerge in the market? Well, we believe that disruptive use cases will need to emerge in order to place the pressure on network operators needed for them then to make the investment in the relevant infrastructure. In our report, we show that there is clearly a demand for 5G roaming and operators must continue to make investments despite the additional pressures felt as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This will really enable network operators to deliver their subscribers with a higher quality service, whilst also capitalising on the opportunity to make a profit. So given what you've said about 5G roaming, it's, it's the future obviously, um, what, what's the potential now for 4G, 3G and 2G? Is there anything for the operators still in there? We believe so, yes. Although the precise legacy network in use will vary across the geographical region. In our report, we look across the world at what different service providers are doing because it varies enormously depending on the resident technology. Thank you, Scarlett. Juniper Research's new report on mobile roaming is now available from the Juniper Research website. Please get in touch if you wish to learn more or speak to Scarlett, the author, about the research. Thank you.